Sunday, the sun god. So all your days in the week and all your months of the year that the whole world follows are actually names of demons that we call out every day. Can you imagine that? God in his wisdom put together a calendar that is from him. And he made sure that every portion of the calendar was remembered by simply introducing a feast. So every time in Jerusalem, the Israel celebrated a feast, they knew where it fits in in the calendar of God. Hallelujah. Now when we look at the feasts, we will find that the plan of God with Jesus Christ, the life of Jesus, the birth of Christ, the crucifixion of Christ, the ascension of Christ, Amen. Every one of those has happened on a feast. Hallelujah. Even his death was an apostle. The new fruits, which is the ascension. So, uh, the seven feasts, we are now closing in, hallelujah, um, to the Feast of Trumpets, which is the return of God. There's also the Feast of Tents. The Feast of Tents will happen when we leave this tent. This is a temporary body and a temporary earth. Then the Israel were 40 years in tents in the desert before they got their promise. They celebrated the week of tents all the way through until they got homes made from stone. And so we will celebrate that when we are glorified as a church. Amen. So as a church, we follow those festivals. Isn't that amazing? That Israel is the foundation of it. And the church is built on Christ. And both Israel and Christ belong to God. Amen? Isn't that amazing? That's always amazing to me. So, we are in the time of the trumpets. The trumpet celebration is important to God because Rosh Hashanah, Rosh means head. Rosh, Rosh Ha, H A, Rosh Ha Shana. Rosh Hashanah, head of the year. Amen. Also meaning the beginning of time. Because Rosh Hashanah is believed that it was the same time that God created the heavens and the earth. So Rosh Hashanah, new beginnings. And Rosh Hashanah, the head of the year. So Israel celebrates a year of 5,779 and it will start today at sunset. Hallelujah. It will run for 10 days. Now it's quite interesting that that was recorded in our Bible. Isn't that amazing? That, those 10 days are recorded in our Bible exactly when they must be observed. Because they move from the time of Rosh Hashanah to Yom Kippur, which is now the atonement, the forgiveness of sins. Ten days. Now, the head of the year, God was quite, quite clear what he wants to do. I want to read this to you. Will you tell me to Leviticus? Uh, chapter 23, Leviticus chapter 23, verses 23, Leviticus 23, 23. The Lord spoke to Moses, tell the Israelites, in the seventh month of the first day of the month, you are to have a day of complete rest and com commemoration of the trumpet blasts. A sacred, uh, a sacred assembly. You must not do any daily work, but you must present a fire offering. 